It is one of the first things you see when you drive into Fort Worth, a massive building, beautiful with busted windows. The TNP warehouse has been standing there since 1931, and tonight we're getting our first look inside. Here's Bradley Blackburn. Eight stories, three city blocks of brick, enough to block out the Fort Worth skyline. The TNP warehouse, an Art Deco tie to the city's railroad past. And today we got a tour from bottom to top where the view is unlike any other. Old elevator switchboard. It's the first Our time Nadine Shukri's family has allowed cameras inside. They've owned the building nearly two decades, investing years and millions of dollars into restoring it. When it was purchased, we knew that there was going to be a holding period there for a while. All the pieces are in place, which 20 years ago they really weren't. The project has faced criticism from some city leaders, questions about the pace and whether the building is to code. We just need a project or we need a new owner. It's been put on historic Fort Worth's endangered list. Making sure this building will be safe enough that it really can have a future in it. But the owners say work is underway. It can be a little bit frustrating if you're looking at it from the outside in and not knowing exactly who's working on it and where those dollars are going. It's a massive job. The building is 600,000 square feet, nearly 14 acres of space. Submersible pumps. Below street level, they say a new pump system keeps the basement dry. The building is hooked up to electricity and they insist structurally stable. This is the toughest well-built building I've ever been in. It's basically all concrete, steel, and brick. They're replacing panes of more than 1,400 historic windows, for now with temporary polycarbonate on upper floors Indestructible. and Lexan on ground level to keep it secure. By code, we could just cover the windows in plywood. Our attempt is to make the building look better while we're finalizing the development process. They plan to turn the warehouse into a mixed-use development with apartments, restaurants, retail, and rooftop penthouses with a pool. They say it's approved by local, state, and federal agencies, a difficult task because it has historic designation. There are a lot of ducks that have to be in a row for a development, and we've had every one of those ducks ready at different times, just not necessarily all of them at the same time. A big dream for a Texas-sized structure. It's a shovel-ready project. It's going to get there soon. In Fort Worth, Bradley Blackburn, Channel 8 News.